All right, we're across the border into the States and we're headed to Jackson Hole, Wyoming for the hill climb races. And we're gonna do some slamming over down there, but just went through the border. And man, <laughs> that is not what I expected for a border crossing. That's the smallest one by far I've ever gone through. This guy. What was that, Chet? Who says hill climbers don't need bumpers? <laughs> There's a sled in there somewhere. Bear with me through this video, guys. I accidentally deleted all the footage off my camera from the weekend. Uh, luckily, I did take most stuff on my phone. But also, just want to remind you guys, we're so close to 100K, and my season's coming to an end here any day. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. But let's get back to the video. Oh, this is Jackson Hole. Snowing so freaking hard you can't see anything, but we're sitting right here. So we're not actually watching the races today, and we're not racing in the races at all. Um, today we're gonna go riding. It's like a bit of a popular spot here to ride. Don't know where we are, but we're uh, in Jackson. Parking up here is a freaking disaster. And I think Kyle Saxon just rolled in towing a trailer and a buddy towing a trailer. Who we got going on right now? Dude, I uh, I might have made a bad choice on the zone call today. I put the old here. There's, there's nowhere to turn around in there. No way those guys get out. <laughs> back in here sledding in Wyoming. My first ever time riding the mountains was actually in Wyoming. It's a Torgany Mountain Lodge. We're getting a pretty late start here today by talking to some of the guys in the parking lot. It sounds like it's going to be deep up here. It smells like bumper deep. It's a lot deeper than your heavy right now. So I'll take it. Look at that. Right over the hood. So before we left the parking lot this morning, Jack from Log, wow, I can't talk today. Jack from Long Track Nation, should be Long Track Nation. Jack from Boondock Nation, uh, had a little talk just about the avian conditions. Oh. That nut fell off my ray valve position sensor again. Sure, just rode the Polaris. We're around with Boondock Nation and a bunch of other guys. Been trying to ride with them for quite some time. It's just never kind of lined up right. So, making it happen here today. But Jack from Boondock Nation is kind of showing us the way here, the, the guide for the day. Because obviously, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Ooh, it's good in here. Don't have the side panels open on a Polaris already, do we? <laughs> try, try it now, Claire. Okay. Ooh, this thing doesn't even want to idle. 1100 RPM. <laughs> Today's not gonna be like 
like a normal day. It's not gonna have much storyline to it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do like three parts over the next three days of Jackson Hole. So today's ride. And tomorrow will be uh, <laughs> no, no. Ah! <laughs> Fish are back right out of there. Yeah, what's going on there? Bald. Classic. It sounds like you're on a 600 ice. <laughs> it sort of feels like. <laughs> Can't believe this is March 24th snow. Like, that's wild. <laughs> I think this is like the latest I've ever gone home. And usually when I go home, we have no powder. It is full on spring conditions. <sighs> the states have just been getting it this year. <laughs> oh my god! Uh oh! Oh! That storm hey, slab, eh? Slab. Couple feet. <laughs> Hello, boys. Jock's gonna come up here, try and re-entry off this little log. I don't know if I should be worried for my sled here. <laughs> Ooh, that ski is <laughs> on a lot of pressure. Yeah, Whoa. Wow! What was that? Don't fall in there. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Holy shit. That was the loudest back far I ever heard. Dude, it came out my airbox. Really? Yeah. 
came out by airbags. See, flames. I hit the shot button and it, oh, it went boom. Is it on fire or? Yeah. Yeah, there's flames right here, Matt, on this fucking side. Where? They were coming out of the front of his hood right there. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Oh shit, yeah, get that open. Watch out, there could be fuel. It probably is, yeah. Holy crap. Dude, I Dude. saw the flame when that made that noise. I looked and it was like right out of the front. I smell my singed hair on my dude. face, dude. Oh, oh. oh, it's sparking back up. Holy shit. Dude, I think this is I think this is the last car. Dude, yeah. I just burned one. Come on. I think you're right. Dude, this is still on fire. Shit. Look at it. Oh. Use the side panel as a shovel. If you get the back end downhill. Get the fuel, drip yep. the fuel, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. 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 We gotta get back. Get your sled out of there. Fuck! Oh. You wanna try and get the back end just down a little bit? I'll put on my helmet and. Whatever. Let's get out of here, man. So, what happened there was, it just went to start it. Yeah. I heard the explosion, and yeah. a, I guess a big fireball went right in his face. We'll zoom in here nice and close. Oh, hold on. Focus. So if we look at those eyebrows there, those are a little cinch. Dude, that was wild. All I did was hit the shot button and it just, it was a fireball like between my legs. <laughs> Boom. I had my goggles up, so it's like singed my eyelashes and eyebrows off. At least the stash is. <laughs> at least the stash. <laughs> Can't believe it actually went out though. I know. I'm, it was burning like around the fuel. Yeah. That one and we just roll, <laughs> rolled it unintentionally, but. Yeah. That was that was scary. I was like, I was scared to go close. <laughs> Me too. Trying to get those hood bolts out too. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> you were just frantically trying to get the bolts out. Yeah. I guess you don't have the top bolts in. I did. I just figured there's enough flame around that top area that all that would be melted. So as soon as I got the front two out, I just ripped it. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> wow, what a day! Going out with a bang. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're laughing. <laughs> That's all we can do. Yeah. Mess up as much stuff as I do. Oh, yeah. Not good. So since this sled is kind of temporarily down here, <laughs> Jack's nice enough. He's going to give us some parts <laughs> for our sled. We need that ray valve position nut. We did that fix on the hill the other day where we replaced that proper nut with just some random nut, but I think it fell off again, so we'll grab that off of there. You weren't kidding when you said it really blew through the airbox. Dude, it blew the vents right out, right <laughs> between the panels here, everything. <laughs> <laughs> There's a tree wall there. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be back for you. We're gonna look at uh, packing a trail down through here to the valley bottom and towing this sled out of here. This is pretty much gonna be it for the video for day one of our riding. Tomorrow, we'll get out and watch some hill climbs. How's it looking? It goes all the way to the trail. Oh yeah? yeah? Nice. Apparently the guys already have the trail packed all the way to the main trail. 
So, towing should be actually pretty easy. I think it's all downhill, relatively. Listen to this thing now, I'll go wide open. <laughs> Here, get on! <laughs> well, here we are at the Jackson Hole Hill Climbs, heading up the hill. First ever gondola ride, as Chad would call it. <laughs> here with the backwoods boys. Headed to the top. Yeah, looking down. Gotta catch fence for the sleds when they take off. Uh, little kitty cat Got catcher. <laughs> this is where we were stopping yeah. yesterday. We were watching right here yesterday. Get somebody! This is a great this view. This is a pretty good angle, right? Yeah. yeah. Almost perfect this is sick. timing. I mean, even if we were one chair back, it wouldn't be the same. Get some, oh. brother! Oh. Ah. I mean, they got a lot of people to catch the sleds, eh? Yeah. yeah. Look at look at the mash up right there. Wow, this she's tough. Up. Coming in hot. <laughs> First gun to hold, right? Success, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Oh, look at that freestyle. Take Let's go. Take that up the hill. <laughs> Looks a little steeper when you're up here. Go, <laughs> don't slip. It's just as scary to go down this thing as it is to go up. Oh, I get loud. People love free stuff, eh? Yeah, they do. I mean, Chet loves it too. <laughs> the crowd goes wild. We haven't seen action up here in a while. It's been uh, pretty quiet. <laughs> Those trenches. <laughs> So the sled has to stay upright and running and then they can keep trying. Can they put it in reverse? Yeah. <laughs> That's how it's done. Dude, I just got roosted. <laughs> <So hard. laughs> we all did. 
Like he's probably getting pretty tired. No. He, yeah, he's under it. <laughs> I think he's out. I think they're just trying to get the sled now. Yeah, they, they've got to be. Good morale now. Oh my. This guy in the floral shirt was crazy. He was jumping on these sleds all day, just wearing a t-shirt and pants. If I was doing that, I'd be wearing full protective equipment. But I was hoping to interview him on day two. I think he unfortunately cut his arm or, or something I heard before I had the chance. I've heard he's even broken his arm in the past doing this. I think he's been doing it for quite some time. Just lives for the event. It's pretty cool to see. I think a lot of these guys have been doing this for a long time. And Big shout out to them. They're just out there risking their bodies all weekend trying to save these sleds from being written off, basically. And before we knew it, that was the end of day one. Huge shout out to all these athletes that try and make their way up this hill. Some do, some don't. Uh, the hill is extremely, extremely tough today. The trenches were like four or five feet deep. They have a deeper snowpack this year, which I think has made it a lot more difficult because of the trenches being four to five feet deep. Usually they're only like two feet deep, so it's a lot easier to manage, but it's also nicer that they're not hitting as, as many rocks or stumps this year. So it's kind of a give and take thing. But I said to a couple people, oh, it'd be fun to try and put a sled up the hill. But man, just watching some of the guys GoPro footage back of them trying to make it up this hill after the event, I'm like, I'm getting my nerves of my own being like, man, I don't know if I could do that. Like, I'd just be so nervous having everybody watching me and having the chance of riding off my snowmobile down this hill. So huge shout out to all these athletes that, uh, that are doing this. It takes, takes a lot of skill. But like I said, it was time to head down the mountain, slide down, one of the funnest parts of the day, honestly, and then uh, go catch the freestyle event. Are you going? Oh, ow. <laughs> Camera in hand. <laughs> All right, is this the, is this the way, the trees? The trees look scary, dude. <laughs>
He didn't even extend that tsunami at all. Like, what are we doing? Why are we here? So I don't really have any footage from day three because of my camera, but if you don't follow Hill Climb Races, Keith Curtis is the best there is, and yet again, he took King of Kings. I think that's like the seven or eighth time now. It's pretty crazy. He's just a whole different animal on the sled. I wish I caught the whole thing. That's it for uh, Jackson. Time to toboggan back down the hill again. Oh my god. Oh, I'm in the hot. If you ever want to put your hands up.